mostly because I'm not running uh, I'm not running multiples of a lot of the key cards uh, for the deck. Yeah. I mean, I'd, it's it's a pretty similar situation for me. It's like I have to divide my priorities among all my options. For example, uh, you could sp okay. Uh, let us use hand destruction once again. Okay. Discard White Knight Dragon, and this guy, the Red Eyes Wyvern, uh, draw two cards. God, I'm just. I've been playing Magic so much, I'm not used to just being able to just roll out whatever the fuck I want. Uh, now let's go with Reinforcement of the Army. Okay. Reinforcement of the Army is going to grab uh, the Paladin of Felgrand. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, let's normal summon Paladin of Felgrand. He is going to equip a level 7 or 8 dragon type monster from my deck to him, making him unaffected by other monsters' card effects as long as he's equipped. And the monster yep. I'm going to equip him with, of course, is the... Uh, where is he? Yep, Divine Dragon Lord Felgren. Spell and Trap. I'm going to set a card, and I'm going to end my turn. All right. Okay, I'm going to activate Tenacity uh, of the Monarchs. Nice. Which will allow me to reveal my Grand Mark of the Rock Monarch, and then I can act. And then I can search out my deck for a Monarch spell card, uh, a spell or trap, and 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 put it into my hand. I'm not sure what I want though. I think. Yeah, I'm going to add uh, Domain of the True Monarchs to my hand. Nice. Next, I'm going to activate Domain of the True Monarchs. And next, I will Special Summon Escher the Frost Vessel. Nice. Alright, I will I will sacrifice my Escher the Frost Vessel in order to Normal Summon Grand Mark the Rock Monarch and have it target your face down card. Uh, question. If Does the card yep. have to be set in order for it to be destroyed? Like it. For a Grand Mark, yes. So if I activate it, it's not destroyed? I don't... Th I'm, I don't think so, honestly. Ruling. <laughs> Judge. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you if you activate the, your card in response uh, in response to a Grand Mark, uh, in response to Grand Mark, I'm pretty sure it still gets destroyed, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, let me just see. During either player's turn... Um, neither of these, I think, I think all that the set card thing does is establish the criteria by which you can target, but once you target, the conditions need not be correct any longer. So my card okay. is destroyed, and I couldn't really get anything good with that. Yeah, because you're, uh, yeah, because a majority of your, uh, well, you could have grabbed Frost, uh, White Knight, you could have grabbed White Knight and, you know, actually summoned the damn thing. Yeah, and then it would be like a blip on the radar. Go on. All right, I'm gonna have Grandmark attack over uh, Paladin of Felgrand. Yep. For uh, he's a 32 during the damage set thanks to Domain. Really? Yep. So I take 15. Nice. Boomski. Two grave. Two grave. And I will set a card. Beautiful. All right, let me see this bullshit. I can't special summon monsters from the extra deck. Well, how convenient. I actually... Neither of us have an extra deck. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> you reduce the level of one monster or two and a uh, goddamn level modulation. Like, who fucking cares? I'm going to normal summon the Keeper of the Shrine. Okay. And then I'm going to banish the Keeper of the Shrine in order to use my gun card. It's the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next, I'm gonna activate his effect because he's fucking stupid like this. I'm gonna normal. I'm gonna special summon Divine Dragon Lord Felgran, and when he's special summon, I'm gonna banish Grand Marg and gain attack equal to his level times 100. <laughs> okay, so you gain 600 attack, which means that during my battle phase, I get to swing for 54. Thirty-four. I'm sorry. Did I say fifty-four? I meant I meant fifty-two. 
I mean, 62. It's 62. I'm going to end my turn. Math. 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 I'm so, I'm usually adept at numbers. Mm. All right. I'm going to activate Soul Exchange. Yeah. <laughs> and I will sacrifice your Divine Dragon Lord Felgrand uh -huh. in order to normal summon Thessalus the Firestorm Monarch, targeting this card in your hand. If it was a monster card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original level times 100. You just set my decoy dragon to the graveyard. I lose 200. Yeah, but that's still game. Oh, well. Yo, what I'm curious about is why you didn't get rid of Darkness Metal Dragon, because all I'm going to do is do the same. Because I couldn't Because I could. Yeah, I couldn't kill Felgrand either way. Because now I get to banish him and just swing for the fences. Boomski. Um, Alright. One and one. On to R3. Yes. If you pull out R-E-D-M-D -E again, you pretty much are guaranteed to win. I don't have a good answer for yeah, that. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like, it's... I looked over the deck list pretty closely, also in the interest of speeding these games up, but I, I noticed that, yeah, there is... He's he's the best card in the deck. He's just, he's just stupid broken. <laughs> hmm. All right, um... Alright, I'm going to set a monster in and, and uh, end my turn. Nice. Start turn. Let's start with a Dragon Ravine. Oh, man! The sec now you can send R.A.D. to the grave, R.A.D.M.D. to the graveyard and just get it and recycle it almost infinitely. Ah, 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 ah. Discard card. Ah, ah, ah. Send stupid, broken bullshit to the graveyard. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I also love Dragon Ravine is in the deck, but I don't have any Dragoonities. They just want me to use the second effect. <laughs> yep. Um, is there any way that I could, like, fucking blow up this turn without overextending? Uh, nope, so I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm going to activate Return of the Dragon Lords. Okay. Fuck, I can't summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal with this effect, but I can. G yeah, because he's a 10. But I can get the Arc Brave Dragon. If you special summon yep. from the graveyard, I can banish as many of the face-up spell or trap cards you control as possible. I hope you. I hope you, to take that. Take it. What's oh, return during the standby phase? I can't use that effect yet. I'm gonna swing into your guy for 24. All right, my barrel with the firestorm vessel goes to grave. Uh, you got no effects when he dies. Uh, let's send Return of the Dragon Lords. Return of the Dragon Lords also lets me protect my drag one of my dragons if it would be destroyed by battle or by card effect. I just have to banish it. I have not yep. yet normal summoned a monster, but I also don't have any monsters in my graveyard that can normal summon, so I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Um. Wow, uh, I'm going to end my turn. Oh, shit. No, the hand has been loaded. Uh, let us, uh, hmm, spoon, wait, do I, I don't have a, I don't have a wyvern in my graveyard, I'm, I'm going crazy, I'm going to normal summon, evil swarm is a heck, okay, and I'm going to swing into you for 4250 total, alright, uh, on response to, uh, Arc Brave Dragon, I'm going to special summon Battle Fader, nice. main phase two, I am going to discard, um, I'm going to discard White Dragon Wyver Burster in order to send Divine Dragon Lord Felgrand to the graveyard. And after that, I'm going to be good. Grave. Uh. Come on, you have a tribute. Huh. You have a tribute now. No, no, I do not. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to set a monster. I'm pretty sure you're going to win because the deck runs too many. Uh, the deck has got a, a lot of interesting stuff in it. The problem, of course, being that the interesting stuff that it has requires other combo pieces. Oh, my God. And I didn't open with any pieces. Uh, I am going to discard uh, the Herald of Creation. Hello, everybody. 1800, 600. I'm going to discard Darkstorm Dragon in order to add mm -hmm. Red Eyes Darkest Metal Dragon to my hand who I'm going to special summon by banishing Evil Swarms a hack. 
Mm -hmm. Then you can use uh, uh, RADMD in order to special summon Darkstorm. No, nope. right? Divine Dragon Lord Felgran. Banish your guy. Uh, the face down guy, that is. Mm, uh, okay. Uh, he gains 200 attack and defense. Making him a 3,000, 3,000. 3, I think this is game, though. Mm, it should be. Oh, yeah, that's definitely game. So 24, 54, 82. Nah. Damn. Damn. Thwarted by deck by yeah. poor deck design. Mm. And that is why RADMD is it. Uh, uh, wait, is RADMD banned at the moment? No, he's at he's at one. I know he sh he ah, should okay. be he should be at zero. There is no appropriate number of RADMDs in the format. Mm. Yeah. Um. So, uh, for uh for full disclosure, this deck. Well, rather a tri a triplet copy of this deck with a majority of its with a majority of its key cards uh, bumped up to three. Uh, just ran the gamut as a uh, as an anti meta deck for almost a year and a half. It was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> because uh, when this deck is not played as the as the actual structure deck, it has got a lot of stun. It has a, a lot of easy to use huge beat sticks and. Is absolutely annoying to deal with because of the stun elements. Your deck saw no play, like absolutely none. Well, I get because hmm. one of your key cards is already DMD, and he had been on the and he had been on the limited list for you know years by that point. <laughs> so he was a moot point. Yeah. <laughs> you can't run triples of already DMD, man. They just won't. They won't. They won't let you because guess what's gonna happen? Already DMD summons already DMD. That R E D M D is going to summon another R E D M D, and that R E D M D. Then he's going to summon another, and then he's going to summon a blue eyes ultimate dragon, and then you are dead. Then you're the dead person because you didn't Yu Gi Oh. Okay. Um, going uh, going over your deck. What well, what significant changes would you make? Honestly, I would probably take out R E D M D, or just make a strong case for Konami to ban this fucking piece of shit once and for all. Because oh, well, that would make the deck significantly worse. We're trying to make these decks better. Did you observe how dramatically my priorities changed from games one and two to game three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My point being is that once you realize that you have, you basically have to harness uh, Redmd in order for the deck to just fucking explode. You're going to set up your graveyard, you're going to set up your field, you're going to get the guy, and you're going to get at least one other creature, probably Divine Dragon Lord, because he goes off when he's special summoned, and you got the you got the dynamic duo, this swing for, well, upwards of 56, because Divine Dragon Lord always gains attack when he banishes something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, but how would you make the deck slightly better? How would I make it better? Um... Well, for one thing, I don't really understand why the Light Sworns are... I mean, I do understand why the Light Sworns are in here. It's because they want me to send as many cards from my deck to the graveyard as possible, hopefully including high-level, useful dragons. However, um, they do kind of... I don't really like how they clash. I think that they could have done with better options, like maybe like for uh, defense, for instance, because I noticed there actually... There aren't a lot of really... There aren't really that many defensive spells. I mean, there are spells that negate your monster effects that destroy spells and track cards but nothing in the way of monster destruction they mostly want me to use my high attack dragons to overwhelm you yeah now as as for my deck the the main thing that I, that uh, I want to see uh, from this deck is in uh, mul multiples of the, of the key pieces I mean getting to see each of the uh, getting to see each of the vessels and their uses is co is cool and all but if I, but because there are so many of the vessels I can't actually use them unless I have unless I have monarchs to, tri uh, to tribute you know mm. I, I like seeing Trigodia and pinpoint garden here and rainbow Kribo is awesome but really that's uh, the the main problem that this deck suffers from is not its lack of removal. It's got plenty of fucking removal, but it's all it, a majority of the removal is tied up in monster effects, yep. and and I need the ability to get those in, uh, uh get those into my hand. So instead of stuff like uh, Garum, Landrobe, and 
and uh, Lucius, like additional copies of Caius, Ry um, uh, Ryza, and Grandmarg. I actually like Grandmarg a lot. I mean, I don't like him as much as I like Zaborg, but I like Grandmarg a lot. They all, all the, all the first generation monarchs were all, they're all like special in their own way. You want to use each one of them. Um, mm -hmm. I wish your deck had run more cards that just let you um, special summon tributes, basically, because you need it's yeah. it's monarchs. You have to; they're usually level six or level eight. You have to tribute monsters. You need monsters to tribute. Well, here's the thing: each of the vessels has special summon conditions, but it doesn't matter if I don't have the monarchs already in my hand. And with with uh, uh, how how few uh, monarchs that uh, that I was going into. I, you know, couldn't actually go into my monarchs uh, 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 consistently. Yeah. I'm glad that I got Stormforth all three games, but uh, at the same point, I only got to use it once. Damn thing is horribly broken. Yeah, I don't think my deck gave you enough time to set up. <laughs> yeah. Fucking dragons. Fucking REDMD. Fuck REDMD. Let me let me st let us both state that. Let's like, we're gonna say it on the count of three. Okay, one, two, three. Fuck. Fuck R -E -D -M -D. <laughs> I love the card. I do, but it is horribly broken. He has Way risen. too easy to summon. He's on the field. <laughs> he is. All right, guys. This has been Neo Monarchs versus Neo Felgrand. Uh, be safe, everybody. Peace out, y'all.